Something you want to share with the world? I know that look, the one people get when they're annoyingly happy. You're back together, aren't you? Right, I shall put the champagne on ice. Well, thank you, but I didn't invite you to come over just to give us your much-needed approval. I know, you want to see if our friend here has been chipped. His friend. I just invited him for the night. Only Eliza adores him, so I've backed myself into a corner. Yeah, we can work out what we're going to do once you're checked. His name is Tip. Tip? Oh, bless you. Tip. Working title. Your dad seems to think he's comfortable in the rubbish. Well, I'm pretty comfortable in the pub. Should I change my name to Pint? Hmm. He's my little kindred spirit. Now, there's a good chance he's taken a few wrong turns, but he's obviously a diamond in the rough. A lovable rogue. Yeah, well, just make sure you two don't take any more wrong turns. You're too good together to blow it again. Come on, you. Bell was on the phone first thing this morning. He's still panicking about Lachlan. If we hear anything, we're to tell her straight away, apparently. It's not going to end well, this, you know. She can pick him out, can't she? Yeah, but it's in the Dingle DNA, isn't it? However, I think Debs may have just landed on her feet this time. Do you know, I remember a time when older rich men would have bought me anything I wanted. I mean, what happened? You got older than them. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. What do we know about our Debs' new boat? Well, he's bought her a house for starters. However, in short, he's the wrong side of old, but the right side of minted. Get that? Kids go missing all the time, don't they? Lachlan, though, is not really a kid, is he? He's more like a mini Hulk. Wouldn't like him when he gets angry. <laughs> you don't like him full stop. Hey, what if whoever topped Emma topped Lachlan as well? You know, trying to get all the weirdos out of the village. Probably the best you stay indoors, then. <laughs> Becca knows. Put me in the business. It's, it's, it's over. Where is my beautiful nephew? Auntie Vic's getting withdrawal symptoms. Oh, really? I'm not into the whole newborn stage, me. I didn't get it. Just so we know, what stage are you into? So where is he? Me and Rebecca, she won't let me see him. What are you talking about? What's happened? We've had a fallout. Right, just assuming that this is your fault, going on your previous record, why not say sorry? That didn't work. Right, well, I'll talk to her, and whatever it is, I'll sort no, it. No, you won't. We'll be friends, I can... Vic, I mean it, you won't. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're all thinking. I, I probably brought this on myself, you know what, you're right. No, no-one is thinking that. I sort of am. Well, I don't get upset. No, I did this, Vic. Me. It was the one good thing I had left going on in my life, and I've lost him as well. I've lost him forever. Both of you. Oh, hello, sweetheart. You've got yourself a new pet. <laughs> What's the going rate for a large rat these days? Oh. So do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, there's not much bad. Well, let's go for the good, then. No chip for tip. Of course he hasn't been chipped. He's a free spirit, just like me. Two peas in a pod. Except he is actually a she. What? Well, did you not have a look down there? You know, there are more appealing, less ugly pets you can have, darling. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. That's what I've been trying to tell her. Oh, <laughs> come on, Megan. All he, she needs is a chance. We can make this work. Especially as I'm going to be around a lot more now. Oh, right, hang on. I've spoken to the dog warden and we'll have to see if someone comes forward first. <laughs> and there we go. Right on cue. The bad news. You're coming down with something? I'm sorry, Frank. I'm not doing this on purpose. Sorry, am I missing something? Something else? Well, I don't think she's just become allergic to Jay. Do you? <laughs> the thought of her in a dog pound breaks my heart. <laughs> oh, bless oh. you. Again. Oh, uh, I'd like to say sorry, Tip, but I'm not. OK, like, I do feel a bit bad, just a little bit. Honestly, I'll be fine. No, no not for you, for Eliza. If only you could think of someone local who you could persuade to take her in. Maybe someone who might be a bit lonely. And then she wouldn't go stinking out of my house, but Eliza would still have a new best friend to play with. Vanessa, you're a genius. <laughs> yeah. That's the full tour. 